Good day everyone and welcome back. Today, this session, our subject for discussion is regarding protection relay setting calculation for medium voltage in camera. So, the subject relay is being installed at this in camera from here. So, this will be our uh, seventh video and we call this video as uh, part seven of eight since uh, we have done so far uh, six videos for this entire power system so we're planning to prepare eight videos total and this will be our seven so the location of uh, this uh, relay is being installed on this breaker from here so it's being installed on the main 11 kb switch gear under building b in this area from here so far uh, we have as i mentioned earlier we have done uh, six videos already which we name from part one to part six so for a quick review the first video that we prepared earlier the first one we call it part one out of eight is from this uh, bus coupler from here which is being installed under the main 11 kb switch gear of the building f then the second video is related to the relays which are being installed to this breaker from here the uh, outgoing uh, cable feeder of the 11 kb switch gear of building a so we have made a calculation since the settings is the same for this uh, relay here and the relay also insta installed on this outgoing feeder cable so so the outcome of the calculation for this relay is the same setting also for the in commerce for this 11 kb switch gear under building f this in camera one and also in camera two so we call this video as part two of eight then the third video we prepared is regarding the release setting for this bus coupler here located at the same building building a so we call this video as part three or four the fourth video which is part four uh, no rather part three of eight the fourth video which is we call it part four of eight is the release setting calculation for the two in commerce from here because they are the same setting then our, fact, our fifth video is related to the cross tie feeder from here this cross tie feeder cable is connecting between the 11 kb switch gear of building a and 11 kb switch gear of building b so this video uh, we name it as part 5 of 8 video so under building b uh, 11 kb switch gear our sixth video is related to the bus coupler installed on this 11 kb switch gear and with between 70 bbc and 70 bbd now our seven of eight video will going to discuss this uh, in camera relay uh, in camera feeder relay from this section this section here this will be the other in camera on your right, right side from your from your screen 
this will be discussed later and we will call this one as our video number 8. So, we go back to our uh, summary for our release setting calculation. So, we have here in our summary the, the settings for the time over current protection relay for both phase and ground. And we have also here our um, directional over, uh, over current protection relay also the same phase uh, with phase element and ground element so this is the value right now that we're going to discuss by the way uh, in this level our pickup time is being set at 1.35 seconds if you want to uh, understand why we assign this value please refer to our previous video this part 1 video part 2 video and part 5 video wherein I discuss on how we assign the uh, pick up time for every section Okay, so let's go now to our calculation to uh, determine these values on how we got these values here for our uh, uh, overcurrent protection setting for our phase element on our ground element. So, as I mentioned earlier, this will be our incoming feeder from this uh, transformer here 22 uh, this one 22 bbt01 and it is being located at this bus from here okay and this calculation and they are uh, that and this subject relay we have two relays from here. We have F60 from G and Micom P143 from Schneider Electric. Our CT current, our CT ratio is 2500 is to 1 Ampere, 10 VE class 5P20. And our PT ratio is 11,000 volts into 110 volts. So, the rating current of the transformer on the secondary side is 2312 ampere. Okay. The 11 minimum line to line 11 kV rather minimum line to line fault is 8406 ampere. 11 kV minimum line to ground fault is 409 ampere. So in this uh, release setting calculation we, uh, the subject relays are the phase over current relay then we have in this phase over current relay we will be having two threshold then the earth fault protection relay the 51n the phase over voltage protection the 59 and the phase under uh, under voltage protection the 27 relay so let's start on our phase over current protection 51 relay and let's start on our first threshold so for the first threshold this will be the backup of the oil thermometer and the DGP2 protections of the transformer so this threshold is being set at 115% of the rated current of the transformer so this is from the secondary side of the transformer Okay, so we just multiply 115% to the rated current of the transformer. We have here 2,659 or our first threshold pickup current value is being set at 2,700 ampere or 1.08 per unit. Our... Uh, inverse time code here being adapted is i triple e very inverse which is being set at 
our time dial multiplier is 0 0.49. So how we derive, come up this uh, value, we use this equation from here and other constants from I triple E standard. So what are those constants? This A, B, and P, and we have this constants from here. We go back from here. This level here is being set at the time pickup is 1.35 seconds. So this is both for the face and the ground element. So here, that's why here we provided here the time pickup of 1.35 seconds. Okay. Uh, remember, as I discussed earlier on my previous video, the uh, coordination time interval is to 50 milliseconds. So downstream, we have here, since this is 1.35, downstream, we have here on our uh, cross tie uh, feeder for building A and building B, 11 KB switch gear, we have here 1.1 seconds. So this is the reason why this is 1.35 seconds to observe the CTI or coordination time interval of 0.25 second. So we and we have here our uh, uh, 11 kb minimum line to line fault which is 8406 ampere and our pickup current which is 2700 amperes and we'll just substitute all these constants from I triple E standard. So our time do our time dial multiplier is 0 0.49 after uh, calculating this equation from here. Next, this will be our first threshold for our uh, relay 51. Our second threshold for our relay 51 is being set at 100% downstream of downstream threshold protection setting. So, where is this downstream? This downstream right now is on the this side. And we have this information which is 4750 ampere. When we have calculated this one on our previous vid video, so, uh, by the way, to understand how we there uh, how these values are being calculated here please refer and uh, check and watch also our previous videos so we have here 4750 so multiplied by 105 percent we have here 4988 ampere always set the second threshold pick up current to be 5,000 ampere or 2 per unit. 2 per unit means we'll just um, multiply this 5,000 by our uh, CT uh, ratio, current ratio, which is 1 over 2,500. With a definite time, this is both for our face and ground, being set at 1.35 seconds. So, now this is uh, we have done our first relay our second relay is relay 51N or for the earth fault protection so our threshold here is set at 12.5 percent on the rated current of the city which is 2500 so we have here our our threshold setting for our air fault protection is being set at 312.5 ampere or 0 0.125 per unit. Also, the same as the phase element, this uh, relay 51N is being set at definite with definite time at 1.35 seconds. Our third relay, the relay 59 for face over voltage protection, 
this threshold is being set at 115% of the rated voltage, which is, in our case, our rated voltage is 11 kV. So we have here our phase over voltage protection threshold is being set at 12,650 volts at 1.15 per unit. Remember, with a definite time set at 2.5 seconds. So, here, this time setting from here for both our phase over voltage protection and our under voltage protection has also to coordinate with downstream uh, feeders. So, in our case, this all four uh, incoming feeders here, okay, for building A and building B, these time settings are the same. So since we have uh, our setting on our previous incomers is 2.5 seconds for the relay 59, that's why here our relay 59 also is being set with definite time at 2.5 seconds. Our relay 27 is being set at 80% at rated voltage. So we'll just multiply 80 to 11,000 volts. And our threshold for threshold pickup for our under voltage protection is being set at 8,800 volts or 0 0.8 per unit. The same, since our previous incomers are being set at 4 seconds, this relay also will be set at 4 seconds with definite time setting. Thanks for watching.